I saw quite a few user comments suggesting to do sugar glass, which I thought was a really interesting idea and I wanted to follow up and try as well. But first, I won't be able to do this in my normal from scratch format. While I have made several sugars before, I haven't yet been able to separate it into pure white sugar. For that, I'll need a centrifuge. So my sugar is likely too dark to result in transparent sugar glass. The other crucial ingredient is corn syrup, which is one of the sugars I have not yet made, but is most definitely on my list of things to attempt in the near future. Without corn syrup, the sugar can easily crystallize and become opaque instead of transparent. Nevertheless, I was still curious enough to try this out with store-bought ingredients. Sugar glass is made by a basic combination of sugar, water, corn syrup, and cream of tartar. Then stirred and heated until it reaches a temperature over 300 degrees Fahrenheit or 150 degrees Celsius. This brings it to the hard crack stage, where the higher sugar concentration will allow it to cool hard and clear. Then you just pour it into a mold and let it cool for an hour or so. After it cooled, I figured out since the sugar is water soluble, I could easily polish it with something slightly abrasive and wet, like a brand new scrubbing pad. So then after you pour it out, you end up with a nice, fairly transparent glass-like substance. This is just the sugar. But uh, actually turned out pretty good. It's slightly caramelized, that's why it's not perfectly clear. You can see through this pretty good. It's This is kind of rough, so it's pretty distorted. One of the first things I did was try it in a ladle and made a convex lens, which is basically a magnifying glass. And you can actually use that to enlarge things pretty well. Which really begs the question, why isn't anybody making edible magnifying glasses? Because I think that'd be pretty cool. And tasty. So then I also tried to make a concave lens that would actually correct for my vision. Using one of my leftover glass lenses as a kind of a mold with a little tin foil. End up with something that kind of looks like a peanut butter cup. It does have a slight curvature. I had to polish it a little bit to make it more effective. And it's definitely not perfectly sphere. But when I look through it, it actually does a pretty good job. Like I can definitely see better with this. It's obviously yellow shaded and everything and makes things a little bit darker, but this is actually pretty good. And definitely shows that you can make glasses out of basically any transparent material. And then lastly, since I had the leftover frames from my ice glasses that weren't being of much use since ice melted, and actually make a set of glasses. I uh, didn't pour these too well and wasn't able to polish them all that well, so they are not very good at all. Everything's pretty distorted, blurry, diffused, but I think they look cool. I could probably smooth them out and make a decent pair of sunglasses. And if not, they're always a good treat. So I just want to give a quick shout out to all of our new subscribers. Over the past month, we have gained over 50,000 new subscribers, which has been really exciting. And with that, I also want to give a big thanks to everyone who support us on Patreon. We are, as of right now, just shy of our first goal that will keep us sustained and cover our operational costs. To all of our supporters of $5 or more, you can check out on Patreon and watch an exclusive vlog by Chris, where he explains what he does for the show, as well as taking my challenge to make a monocle using one of the lenses left over from when I made my glasses. So thanks again to everybody. Uh, I'm gonna be experimenting with doing more of these direct responses to user comments in the future. So let me know if you like it or if I should just not bother.